Hi, my name is Brooke Rollerson. I'm one of the owners of Revelation Design here in Amelia Island. And I wanted to show you a few tips on how to decorate a Christmas tree in a professional designer fashion. There's a lot of little tips about how to fluff your tree, how to light your tree, how to add ornaments to your tree. We do a lot of these videos specifically around the Christmas time to help you make your holidays much easier. And so this is one of the tips that I'm gonna give you that a lot of people totally skip out on. And I'm gonna show you why it's best to make sure that this part is included in your Christmas tree. So what I'm going to show you is how to add stems to your Christmas tree to make it a beautiful, textural, uh, colorful tree without just relying on the actual manufacturer Christmas tree. A lot of times people will come into my shop where I have 20 plus trees decorated and they can't figure out specifically what makes these trees different from their tree at home. And I'm gonna tell you what it is. The actual stems that I place into my Christmas tree before I start decorating, but after I have lit it, is actually one of the best tips I can give you on what to make your tree the most amazing looking Christmas tree that people think it even looks real. I know a lot of people have a problem with going from a fresh tree. They really want that fresh tree and they can't let it go. And they eventually go to an artificial tree and they want it to look really realistic. And that is one of the tips that I'm gonna give you exactly how to make that look realistic. As you know, in nature, we have all different heights of trees and all different sizes, but every once in a while, you'll have a little cluster of some other type of vine in it or another type of tree in there, or one of them's growing crooked and one's into the next one. So not every beautiful fresh tree is exactly the same. So what to make it different is actually going back to the principles and elements of design. Now, not to bore you, but as a professional florist, those are the key components to how I make my arrangements, my fresh arrangements on a daily basis, and my all of the designs. I mean, the principles and elements of design are, are in everything that we see that has to do with the art form. So one of the ones I'm going to talk to you about is texture. So texture is really important when you create any type of design. And I know it seems like our Christmas trees are not designs as a composition as a whole, but they absolutely are. And you have to think of them that way. Texture and color are really the most two important ones that I'm gonna show you on the tree with the stems. Now, I have artificial uh, stems in my shop that I carry year round. So we do a lot of silk arrangements. And so we, we really invest in a high quality artificial stem. And I'm gonna show you a few of the cypresses here, a few of the firs, junipers, but you can see how realistic they look uh, by the stem and the uh, textures and greenery colors, the different types of colors that you could see in each stem is really important. Now, if you were to be um, actually in my shop holding these things, you could see that they actually look really realistic. And a lot of people cannot tell the difference between the real and the artificial. So what I'm gonna show you is how to make that stem look realistic and then how to place it into your Christmas tree. For instance, this one right here is a little bit flat, one-sided, and then it's straight up and down. This is how it gets shipped to us in a stem box from the manufacturer. What makes it more realistic is actually moving those stems around and manipulating them a little bit more into a natural fashion. Now, even if you don't know how the actual botanical material grows, it's important that you move it out of the same state that it was boxed in or it was not gonna look real. So just a simple wiggle up and a wiggle down and a twist here and a twist there is gonna give you a more realistic feel to that stem. So here's one that I've done, and let me show you another one. Here's a really simple little greenery. The most important thing about high-end quality silks is you have lots of wires in them. So it's not just the stem from here here that's wired. You can actually feel the wire all the way down to the tip of that stem. So as I take this one stem and I bend it forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards, you can see how it gives me a a broad range of motion to all of these stems. It's actually making these little stems stick out even more. Same thing with this. You see how flat it is here. And if I go forward and back, forward, back and forward, you can see now how it gives you so much more depth to the uh, branch itself, another principle and elements of design. And then you can see here um, just how the movement and the motion of that artificial stem has now got life into it. 
So keeping that beautiful line and that movement and direction will give your stems a more realistic feel when you go to place them into your tree. So let's go ahead and start placing some of the stems into the tree. I'm gonna start with some of the larger branches that I have. And now that they're all wired and I'm moving them around and they're ready to go, the larger branches that I have, this is a lighter color green than what my tree is, I'm gonna actually place towards the bottom of the tree. And all I'm gonna do is push them into the tree. Now making sure that the biggest part of the branch, the fuller part of the branch is tightly pl placed in there. And the tips are actually gonna cascade over the tip of the artificial tree. So you can see here how these just kind of fill in really nicely. Now I've got two or three of each of these styles of branches. And what I'm gonna do is work my way around the tree but say a lot of people wanna put their tree into a corner, then you can actually dress the front side of your tree and not worry about the stems in the back side. But you wanna make sure you at least get the sides so you have range of motion and depth to that tree. So I'm gonna take this larger branch again and I move a little bit further into the tree and down. And now you can see how we've got a lot of that same color and texture there. And I've got one more that I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna decorate the front side of this tree so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna go a little bit further down uh, right here. So as you can see right here, how I have a lot of that color and texture, and it kind of has that beautiful contrast between the green and the darker green of the tree. And I'm gonna continue that with all of my other branches. Again, moving them around to make sure they're really realistic. And the ones that are larger and actually cascade over, I'm gonna to use towards the bottom side of the tree. Now you wanna make sure that those are not sticking out of the tree so you keep the same form of your Christmas tree, another principle and element of design. So moving that greenery in is gonna keep your tips of your artificial tree available for ornament hanging so that you don't have that covered up. And then actually clustering a lot of the different textures together is another way to kind of build up that focal point of your tree and that beautiful texture. So I've got one branch right on top of the other and you can see how beautiful that is starting to look. Now my smaller branches say like this little fir here I'm gonna add these a little bit further up into the emptier parts of the tree. So that it starts to fill in really nice in there. Now, if you've seen the other videos, you know that we have added additional lights to this tree, which give it another really beautiful designer uh, feel to it. And with the artificial tree, it's really simple to just lift up one of the branches, place the stem in, and then put it back down so you have that contrast between the, the real tree and the stem that's placed in there. Smaller stems like this, I'm gonna to work towards the top of the tree because I don't have so much stem on the back side of it to hide. Medium-sized branches like this, I'm gonna work in all over the tree just because this has a contrast to it, I'm gonna make sure that I have that re repetition of pattern all the way through the tree. So where I have one here, one here, then I'm gonna go a little bit further down into this space. And since I have one here, maybe I go back over onto this corner. And as you can see, I'm going back and forth, back and forth down the tree. and a little bit further up on this side, and you can see how beautiful that tree is starting to look. I've got a few more branches that I'm just gonna fill in right here. Again, make sure that you're moving them back and forth so you're not just sticking straight branches in there. You're actually creating that texture and that movement with each branch to give your tree a really realistic and natural feel. Now look how beautiful this tree is starting to look. Just so gorgeous and all the textures. And really a lot of people when I do this in the shop, they can't tell that it's not part of the actual tree. 
And so I give them this tip. It's one of the things that I love to do around this time of the holiday when all of our customers get to come in and see our trees and how beautiful our, it's over 5,000 square foot warehouse is decorated with all different types of trees and themes. People can buy right off the trees. It's a, a exciting time for us to be able to show off and show all of our many talents that we have. Um, and a lot of times we get, don't get to see a lot of our customers throughout the year, but this is a perfect time for all of us to come together and really enjoy um, decorating. So here you have all the different types of textures throughout the tree. Now this is one section that I decorated right here. If you wanted to continue that around to the other side, that would be just repeating that same pattern here on the other side. And again, if you're moving your tree into a corner, you don't have to go all the way around with it, but you wanna at least get some of that deep down in there to give you that depth and contrast of the tree. And so that you actually start to give a fuller look to that tree. So look how beautiful that is. And this is one of the things that not everybody thinks about. So when you're having your holiday party and people come in and they're looking at your tree and they really can't figure out what makes that so much more beautiful than theirs, you'll know for sure that that tip was because you added all of your evergreens right into the tree. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.